Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So again, I'm back with another question of control systems. So this is a gate instrumentation question of gate 2024. So uh, we have been given a unity feedback system and the open loop poles are given. Okay, they are they lie at s equals to minus 4, minus 1 and s equals to 0. We and also it is given that the root locus of the OLTF cuts at JA. Okay, basically it cuts the imaginary axis. Cuts the imaginary axis. Imaginary axis. Okay, then we have to find the value of a. What is the value of a? So I have like uh, in my full course I will taught this. So whenever it cuts the imaginary axis, we simply can put s equals to j omega there and find the value of omega in the characteristic equation. So what is my OLTF? So let me write the OLTF. OLTF obviously there is some uh, gain parameter k, okay, system parameter k, and also the open loop poles are given. One lie at zero, another one at one, and another one at four. Okay, so we have three open loop poles. Now simply from this you can derive the characteristics equation. Okay, we can do this in two methods either from the root locus or directly or directly we can do. Okay, I'll, I'll solve using the two methods. Okay, so what is the characteristics equation? Simply g upon 1 plus g s and the denominator of that. So it is simply s uh, into s plus 1. Let me s plus 1 into s plus 4 plus k simply what we are doing is find the transfer function because it is a unity fe negative feedback system we can do g upon 1 plus gs and simply this is the characteristic equation we, we can find it uh, here so this this we equate with 0 so now what we can do simply simplify this s square plus 5s plus 4 equal plus k equals to 0 it becomes s cube plus 5 s square plus 4 s plus k equals to 0 now one more thing as we know it is causing the imaginary axis and what happens when you have uh, conjugate imaginary poles it means my system is marginally stable and we know a short trick for a third order system what is a short trick basically for a marginal uh, system for stability the internal product of the coefficients must be greater than external product for stable system for marginally stable the internal product must be equals to external product and for unstable system internal product will be less than external product so as we have been given it is just crossing the imaginary axis then my system is marginally stable at that uh, value of s so what is my internal product it is 5 times 4 basically internal product of the coefficients so 5 times 4 should be equals to my k times 1 so k equals, equals to 20 so k is equals to 20 okay so we got the value of k now what we do we know that s equals to j a so it is like it is it has told that the root locus does cross at j a so simply put s equals to j a in this equation it should also satisfy this equation so this is j a whole cube plus 5 j a whole square plus 4 g a plus k equals to 0 okay so now what you do so the k is 20 itself we know already this k is 20 itself so here this becomes uh, minus j a cube because j, uh, j to the word cube is minus j minus 5 a square because j square is minus 1 plus 4 j a plus 20 now simply equating the real and imaginary terms so like if you, if you equate the imaginary terms here you can find out find out your value even if you uh, haven't known this value right from this condition also you can, you can do what you can do is that you can assume this as k okay now what you do you write two equations one equating the real part equals to 0 equating the imaginary part equals to 0 so the imaginary part here is minus a cube plus 4a should be equals to 0 so a times minus a x square plus 4 equals to 0 so a can be either 2 okay like i'm not writing plus minus 2 because like frequency will be plus only so okay and it has told us that we're in the positive uh, like uh, plus j or uh, a so a is positive i think so a will be either 2 or 0 okay how to eliminate this 0 we'll understand now what is the another thing so this is about the imaginary parts equating the imaginary parts so let me write this as characteristics equation okay 
this equals to zero now we equate the real part of the characteristics equation equals to zero like both of them should satisfy right because here at the right hand side i have no imaginary term no real term so here it becomes a uh, minus 5a square plus k equals to uh, zero now can a be zero if a is zero if a is zero then k is also zero and k no k can't be zero here k can't be zero here, right so we're just starting from the root locus k can't be zero so obviously a equals to zero gets nullified or from here also you can understand that like if you know the internal external product concept then you know k is equals to 20 so k can't be equals to zero obviously so my k will be equals to uh like k can be equals to 5 a square okay and from here if you put a equals to 2 you got e greater k as 20 or you can go reverse also if you if you find out your value k from here you can go reverse direction that you you write 20 over here and your a will be 2 okay you don't need to solve this anymore okay so that is one way and what is another method the root locus method the conventional method so simply you do, uh, sorry not the root locus the routh array method routh horowitz method simply you uh, use the routh table so let me just quickly write the route harvest table route array s square s to the power of 1 s to the power 0 and what is the characteristic equation my characteristic equation is this right my characteristic equation is this so coefficient 1 4 and then 5 k so 1 4 and 5 k now what will come next here it will come 5 min 5 into 4 minus k divided by 5 so 20 minus k divided by 5 and what will be this this will be 0 and this will simply come over here because i have a 0 over here in the bottom so this short tricks i've already told in my route uh, like uh, uh, classes okay full full classes there now this will be k okay so this will this is k now obviously uh, for marginally stable we need to have row of 0 like for complex conjugate roots so if you have row of 0 then this has to be equal to 0 so from here we get the condition that 20 minus k by 5 equals to 0 so k equals to uh, 20 itself k equals 20 itself and if you put the row above the row of 0 gives me the aux uh, auxiliary equation and through which I get the complex roots okay imaginary roots okay so here 5 s square plus k equals to 0 k is 20 so i can write directly here 5 s square plus 20 equals to 0 so s square equals to minus 4 s will be equals to plus minus j2 so from here we understand my like a will be equals to 2 okay so a will be 2 very simple question not not, not much uh, difficult like it's just if you know the concepts it's very simple to solve okay so i will see you in the next question thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button